Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sai. How the devil are you, mate? I hope that the today's microphone is better for you. I've just gone and purchased a incredible microphone. This is it. So hopefully you're gonna you're gonna hear a lot less pops and bops and bit that bop. But before we get into the video, I want you to do me a favor, please, okay? Please make sure, like, if you've not seen it. You're gonna, I'm gonna show you now, right? Because some people have made comments on it, and I've not, I've not spoken about it. But I want you to do me a favor. Just hear me out. Look at this, mate. Right? This. Okay, you haven't seen this poppy yet, have you? Look, look. Oh, look at that. Karma circles. Boom. All right. This, this is a beast. So that board is from my local surf shop. Okay. I'm gonna get straight to the point. The guy that owns the place, you know, he doesn't understand the power of social media. And he doesn't understand the power of an incredible YouTuber and what we can do, okay? He doesn't understand the power of the community. So all I'm asking you to do, right, first of all, if you ever come to Newquay, make sure you go to Karma Surf Shop, all right? And if you say that you're a Casperian, I need to get this right, hang on, I need to get this right. You're in the shop, if you say you're a Casperian, you get 5% off of custom boards, like that, and 10% off of the clothing, all right? What I would like you to do is just show him how powerful the Caspersite community is. Now, if you've got Instagram, go to Instagram and search for Karma Surf Shop UK and follow and go crazy, please. Please. And also is on Facebook as well, Karma Surfboards. But do people use Facebook anymore? I don't think they do. I think a lot of people do. But it'd be amazing because one of the things that I love doing is, you know, when we do shout outs and we watch new channels and things like that, I like to go over and see how much like people have subscribed and see how the channel's growing and stuff. You know, it, it, it's nice. And I would love for you guys to go over to Karma on Instagram, follow, and if you're in Newquay, all right, just go into Karma Surf Shop and say, hey, I'm a Casperian. Let's get this maximum discount, okay? Anyway, right, today, we are going to be looking into the freaky deaky, the weird and the wonderful, the paranormal. And we're gonna look at a little channel called Depths of Despair, okay? This one is called Five Scary Ghost Videos that will leave you ghostomized. That sounds sexual, but it probably isn't. Without further ado, da diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. Go in depths of despair. Get out. Top five scary ghost videos caught on camera. Huh. Motion alert. The first video was sent in by Nicole Rene and was taken by. Huh? Let's carry on. Her friend, who lived in a duplex with her son somewhere in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Ever since moving in, something about the place just felt off. On the first night after moving in, she was in the hallway turning off the lights. Uh -huh. And she- I gotta get a tissue, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, where were we? Okay, let's go. She suddenly got the feeling that someone or something was staring her in the face. In the and face? And this foreboding feeling persisted for days to come. So she eventually decided to set up some security cameras around the house. And it didn't take long for one of them to capture this. Oh no, no, this is going to freak me out, mate. Look at the state of this already. Oh, what the hell? This strange orb sighting then convinced her that they are not alone in the house. And something else must be present with them. So she took it upon herself to conduct the Ouija boards. Congratulations! You've just welcomed every demon into the house! ...session to see if she could make contact with any potential spirits lurking in the house. But nothing happened during the Ouija board session. Although, in the upcoming days, the consequences of using the Ouija board became apparent as she would now experience strange and creepy phenomena around the house, such as doors opening by themselves, and unexplained noises could be heard. 
On another night, she was out having dinner with her son when she received a motion detection alert telling her there was movement inside her home. When she went to open the video, there was no live feed footage. Oh. Instead, oh no! Oh no! Only an image in her hallway can be seen. What looks like a figure of a girl or something else can be seen manifesting in the hallway. That's clearly a little girl, mate, with a white dress on with knobbly knees. Seeing this suddenly out of nowhere and being unable to explain it left her completely terrified and she quickly wasted no time searching for a new home and moving out. Oh, Luckily, wow. she says that she hasn't experienced anything in her new place yet. <laughs> the history of the duplex is unknown, although it did look like it was built around the 70s. And on a graveyard. <laughs> so is this a real ghost caught on camera? Or something else entirely? Let me know your thoughts down below. Oh, okay. We can breaking and entering. Uh huh. Julia usually does a lot of urban exploring as part of her hobbies. But just recently, two of her friends decided to do their own urban exploring. And so they broke into an abandoned Methodist church Ooh. that all the local residents are scared of. The church was mysteriously closed down without a reason being disclosed to the people. However, the priest informed everyone before leaving that the church will be closing down due to some events that couldn't be anticipated, but he did not clarify further in his statement, leaving people to assume that something bad happened in the church. Now after breaking in, this is what they capture. Okay. Oh, this place has been abandoned for like three months, I think. Oh my god, yes. Oh, squeaky door. Oh, a red light too. The, oh, the light's the everlasting light. It's in every church, it's always supposed to be on. Oh, okay. It's freezing, actually. Oh, that's the first sign, mate. If it's cold in there. What? What is that? Maggots? Maggots? Oh, mate, how many? Oh Someone's going fishing, clearly. In the church. Wrong place, mate. It smells. Oh, mate, maybe it's somebody's guts. Maybe somebody's guts is just coming out of... <laughs> Why the maggots? <laughs> oh, God, mate. Or maybe he's coming out of their ass. Hard to step on. Oh, that was disgusting. Yeah. What the fuck? Um. Let's uh. Let's, let's go mate, can you keep the camera still, mate? I'm tripping out here. After heading upstairs, not much happens until a little while later where they head to another part of the building. Watch closely. Oh, this is beautiful. Huh? What? What? What is that? I, I can't see shit, mate. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Who, who? Oh god. Who's banging is that? Whose footsteps are they? 
What did we say? Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> how? <laughs> Fucking hell, you twat. Yeah. That's your face. Dude, I'm crying with the father. What did we say? Oh my god. These things are fucking everywhere. Oh mate, they're maximum maggots. Oh, shush, 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 shush. I can hear whispering. No, I, I hear something. I can hear. Run! What? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh, fucking hell! Mate, I, I, I can't... What, what the fuck is going on here? I've seen shit all and I'm shitting a brick. Take care. I heard something. Get out. Oh no, she's gonna be up on the wall. She's gonna be up in the bloody corner of the wall. A pile of mealworms and other insects can be seen dead all over the floor as they follow the path. Many viewers suggested that this itself is a sign that the place has a negative energy to it. Well, it's got something negative in it, mate. And as they approach the playroom, what sounds like kids whispering can be heard. Kids with black eyes. Just mere moments before the door to the little playhouse slams shut, all by itself, and scares the explorers out of the building. So could it be that the unforeseen events that the priest spoke of leading to the church closing down was the place itself being haunted? Or could it have been a worm infestation? I think the infestation most likely occurred afterwards, but in the end, real haunting or not, I'll let you be the judge. Oh, mate, okay, okay, okay. Deep Sorrow. A guy runs a page called Bleak Sorrow, and he likes to go and explore cemeteries and talk to any spirits using the Ghost Tube app. However, one day he seemed to make a mistake while communicating with a spirit at a cemetery, which may have caused something to follow him home. Oh no! Watch closely. This one's WMR Overstreet, 1879 to 1919. Run now! Oh shit! Run! Run! I appreciate the heads up and the warning. As of right now, I'm not afraid. However, it does get a little creepy when. As I said, I'm not sure of the authenticity of this app, though, but when it says things... Okay, I'm glad he's saying that, because some, some of these apps are a bit dodgy. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know about these apps. Things like that. It does get a little eerie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's another old one. 1869 and 1937. Why should I run? It's a nice little area back through there. I'm not going to go back that way, because I don't want to trespass. I'm just going to go over to the edge right here. There is a 
I'm on the edge. Quite an old headstone here. It, I can't even read it. He was in the Basement. army. Basement. Basement. George R. Kinney. 1924. I don't know if that's when he passed on or if that's when he was born. This one. I'm not even sure that's a headstone, to be honest with you. What the hell? Why did you say basement? What about the basement? Did somebody hurt you? <laughs> HOLY oh, FUCKING HELL! That was horrible! Mary. I can swear I heard something over in the woods. Probably just a deer. It said Mary. I kinda wanna look around at some of these headstones and see if there's a Mary here. I'm not seeing a Mary anywhere. We'll check the name of this one again. No, that was the WMR Overstreet. Thank you for chatting with me. I'm gonna move on now to a different spot. You're more than welcome to follow me if you'd like. No, no. While exploring the cemetery, something mentions the basement, but doesn't say anything else. Shortly afterwards, he then unknowingly says, you're welcome to follow me if you like, which I'm sure he just meant to follow him to the next part of the cemetery. Not at home. Oh shit, what have I done? Bollocks. Follow him to the next part of the cemetery. But it seems he invited something that ended up following him all the way home to his basement. Yeah, I knew it! I knew it! In the basement as well. So the ghost was like, I'm going to your in basement, bitch. As the word was mentioned. And now he has been hearing odd sounds coming from the basement. On one day, he hears what sounds like footsteps coming from down in the basement and decides to check it out. Oh. What he captures is utterly terrifying. Oh, here we go. Much. Okay, TikTok. So, my power is out at the moment in the basement. I swear. Oh, shit. I'm hearing someone walk. Oh, I don't know shit. Exactly what it is. But it's kind of creepy. Laundry room still has power, so that's good. But the uh, the rest of the basement's power is completely out, which is very strange. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that noise was, but I don't know. I'm home alone right now, so. <sighs> We'll see Come out! Look out back. No, nothing back there. I don't know. There's been a lot of strange things happening. Figures, shadows. So, I don't know. Maybe some tips, advice would help out. I can't really see anything, but uh, there's no one in here. Oh, Christ, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Nice. Does this light come on? Oh, it does. Nothing Mate, that's there. dodgy as F. I don't know. Someone or something can be seen just standing what? there in the bathtub down in the what? basement. What? But when he searches the whole place and passes back to the bathroom moments later, there's nothing there. Can we get maximum enhancement, please? The next day, he hears noises coming from the basement once again and heads down to check it out. Okay, TikTok. I didn't, I didn't see that. I want maximum enhancement. I didn't oh, see that. I'm going to show you guys this basement. And all the creepy stuff that's been happening here. This is the bathroom I passed earlier, where there was some shadow figure standing, supposedly. I've watched it. It's creepy. That's creepy. But anyway, there is nothing in here to make a shadow stand. Oh, hell no. I have a, that's to the pipes outside. Bathtub, shower, have a window right here. Hola, siliento seguirante. Uh, what the? fuck was that? Oh, hell. Okay, so, here's the thing. This house has been creeping me out for the longest time already. And we haven't lived here, but maybe, I don't know, two years. It's just, I swear to God, I don't like it. Uh, I mean, if there's any way they can be hiding behind this fucking thing over here, I guarantee it. 
I don't know how to, I mean, I'm posting this directly from TikTok. I have a two-year-old son upstairs. You would have heard these doors open, surely. To be fair, the hand looked like a child's hand. Nobody on this side. You can see my big butt standing on this side so no one can get out. I'm doing this pretty quickly because I don't want to be down here right now. Nothing in here. It's double door. I'm telling you guys. A creepy hand can be seen on the window to the bathroom. But just as he turns the corner seconds later, he finds nothing uh. there. After a few days, his fiance hears some noises coming from downstairs and tells him to check it out. <laughs> yeah, go and check it out! Yeah, okay, love, running all the way! This time, things get even more creepy. What's going on, TikTok? We're back in my basement. Uh, my fiance has been hearing some noises down here. Water running. Actually, this door has been moving, so it's been kind of creepy. I'm really not sure what I'm looking for. Um, a lot of you guys want to know why I don't have electric. I do have electric down here. We just had the power off in this main room because it was getting remodeled. We still have the breakers on for the laundry room and for the bathroom. I'll show you guys the bathroom now. It still has water. They're not water electric. It has water too, hopefully. But yeah, it actually has a nice, That's very cool. bright light. It actually has the light up here that also works. So that's I thought it was a awesome. skylight for a second. Those doors, as you know, that's my pantry. That's my, uh, that's water running. What that is. Oh, <laughs> okay. Hey. I'm not fucking with that right now. We'll just leave those on. No, see, I would be like, did you see that? Like, can you believe it? I'm literally, there's nobody down here. I'd, I'd be going off my head right now. I'd be like, <laughs> oh, I was just going to turn that off and forget about that. I wouldn't be doing that, mate. Open, I mean. Um, see, even with the lights on, guys, it's still... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where anyone would be hiding, not behind the door. I think the water turned on again, but I could be upstairs. Um, man, I don't want to go in there again. Just Rambo it. Yeah, uh, I'll show you guys, see if there's, oh God. Nope, that is the water. That is the water. So that's uh, not good. There is absolutely nobody in here. So I, uh, <laughs> oh man, I don't want to move. This is freaky. I mean, I'm practically shaking, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm so shaky right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm calling bullshit just... on this. I don't know, though. I don't know, man. You don't know. And, of course, some of the cabinets are closed yet again. Oh, God. It is. It, it's done well, though. If uh, it, It's weird. Like, this is weird stuff going on right now. But I don't know, mate. But everyone reacts in a different way. I don't know. No. I'm just about to... Uh... Hold on. Hold on a second. No, okay, it does have shelves. Um, wait, wait a minute. No, there's absolutely nobody in here. At all. Mrs. is in there like that. Uh, oh, you opened up the wrong door. Um, I'm not sure how to prove to you guys that I'm not making this up. At all. Looks like the light is now off in the bathroom. So that's kind of creepy. Yeah. And I have to go in there to turn it on. Okay. Looks like there's nobody in there. It is, like, to be fair, it's weird how, like, 
things of different points of the of the area are turning on and off and you can't see like it, you can't see or hear anybody running around and i can't see, i've not noticed any cuts yet let's uh check the shower here i mean i have to show you nobody's there I turn the light on with the camera not moving Whew, that towel was freaking me out takes off i'm telling you what i think i think we're about done for today uh we will do this again another time <laughs> but for right now i assure you i am done a shadow can be seen quickly oh. passing across the wall and then the kitchen tap turns on by itself and all the cabinet doors open on their own then the bathroom tap turns on by itself but worst of all the curtains that were open can now be seen closed and a foot can ah. oh yeah oh be seen behind the curtains so that's literally his missus that's literally his missus <laughs> so did a ghost from the cemetery follow bleak sorrow home to his basement no. after he welcomed it to follow him or is it something else entirely you be the judge yeah i, I don't know mate i don't know about that one manifestation <sighs> Arash Afnan lives somewhere in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and states that he has been dealing with some paranormal activity after an entity invaded his home. It started off with just mild <laughs> encounters, but as the days go by, it got worse. And now they are dealing with a physical manifestation. Oh, what? <clears throat> Kick it in the head, mate! Don't open the curtain, just kick it in the head. Oh, Whoa, fuck. Late, eh? Oh. Huh. Listen. Arash sees. Listen. Whoa, run that late, eh? Hey, there. Hey, there, there. Arash sees a figure behind the curtains and thinks someone in his family is playing a trick on him. But when he opens the curtains, there's nobody there. The Mate. next few days, the paranormal activity gets even stronger, and he starts hearing unexplainable sounds. Dari tadi main ketuk ketuk dengan limau anak bersepak kat sini. Oh shit! Nabi dabi ado ado mate. What the actual f is going on in here? And the ambulance. Ketuklah lagi. Dubis ambil selimut dubis ni. Ya. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, what the hell? A ghostly hand can... Mate, that's creepy as shit. ...can be seen sticking out from one of the kitchen cupboards when it was empty just moments oh, ago. Oh, wow. Was... And that's a big hand, mate. That's like come from a big person. Unless they're a little person with massive hands. ...suspects that the house is being haunted by a child spirit that likes to mess with the family and play with his little son. Oh no 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 no! Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. What the actual salam alaikum is going on here, mate? Pupis. Pupis. Muscle. How? Mate. What? Dubis. Kenapa Dubis selalu main dengan dia tu? Hah? Kalau Papa nak tahu, Papa buka. Ya. 
As each day goes on, it becomes clear to Arash that whatever this is, seems to have a hold on his son Dupis, as he always starts playing with something unseen while looking like he is in a trance. Eventually, this entity starts to manifest. I, I, it, it, it's, it's clear, it's gotta be, it's gotta be uh, somebody who's really good at cut, doing the cuts. Or this is freaky as shit, mate. And you've got a maximum problem going on in your house. Manifest more clearly. Oh, shit off. What the fuck is that? Long dark hair reveals itself from within the cupboard of From a doll? Along with a strange voice. But later, in the kitchen, things get even more terrifying. Ah! Oh wow, that's horrible mate, okay? But later, in the kitchen, things get even more terrifying. The entity appears behind the fridge and quickly vanishes as he goes to check it out. Then it reappears right in front of his face, oh. startling him. But as always, real or not, I'll let you be the judge. Yeah, it's freaky deaky mate, very good, but I ain't, I ain't having it mate, that's too bloody good. Oh, you would have... Every single paranormal investigator right there in the house, mate, with maximum cameras and everything. Game, Game interference. interference. Now, the original source is unknown, but in the video, a guy was playing a game, and a relative of his decided to go on his phone and record it, expecting him to lose and have a funny reaction rage quitting. But okay. instead, something interrupted. Sounds like a legit reason to record somebody. Game. Something chilling. Take a look. What are you doing, my phone? I'm just checking out your apps. Really? That's why you're holding the phone like that? That's not gonna work. In fact, you know what? I want you to be recording this because this beat down needs to be documented. I don't know why. Oh my god. Oh! Your cabinet just opened by itself. Oh my god. Your cabinet just opened by itself. I just watched your cabinet open. That was already no, I watched your cabinet open just now. Oh my gosh, I promise you. Yes, I promise you. Really? Oh, so we got ghosts up in here? Is that it? Are oh, you in the wrong house, dude? <laughs> hey, yo! Motherfucker, we got ghosts coming up in here? You're in the wrong house, motherfucker! Come on! Let's go, bitch! I'm gonna shaduke in your motherfucking ass! I'm hopped up, I'm about to do, and I'm ready to rumble, baby! Come on! Oh my, oh my god. 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 The cabinet door opens by itself and as the man taunts whatever is there, a glass then falls out and smashes on the floor. It could be that someone off camera was messing with the cupboard, but it could also be something else. One thing I can say for sure is that the man in the video seemed like he wanted all of the smoke. Yeah. Well, in the end, the final judgment is yours to me. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like the freaky deaky, the paranormal, the weird, the wonderful, the UFOs and aliens, mate, please make sure you subscribe and do the thing. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.